Hello, in the most Lisa fashion, I am randomly popping in after, I think it's been like a month since I've posted, and I'm balancing you on a disco ball, so fingers crossed and party on. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I want to apologize uh, for those of you who thought I was dead. Um, not dead, here, I'm totally here, um, and I'm totally fine. I. Um, it's just a new mother and I am trying desperately to find the balance between my work life, my mom life, my passion life in terms of like following what um, passions I want to pursue and then also family and friends. And I have definitely put YouTube on the back burner and I just wanted to apologize to the few of you out there who have been so loyal to me and follow me for so long. I just like up and like was like peace and like didn't say anything. So I'm here. Um, I am missing you guys uh, deeply, and uh, I just wanted to let you know where I have been and what I've been doing. So I'm like, is that my child screaming or is that just phantom screams in my head? That's a weird thing that no one tells you about that you'll start to like think you hear your child crying even if they're not. Like when you're in the shower, you like basically are like constantly hallucinating um them crying like at night Jeff will sometimes like do a light snore and I confuse it with her crying anyways so um I feel like time is very limited uh in life and <laughs> in my life specifically right now and I am YouTube is obviously not financially um fulfilling for me anymore which is a real shame because back in the day it was like so awesome and like I now in retrospect I think I always felt like very lucky to have this job um but now in retrospect I'm like holy cannoli that was like what how lucky I was to have had such a cool job for so long that like helped me pay for this place and um afford me a really cool experience in life that being said, times have changed. Obviously, I'm not as popular and also um, YouTube in general is just like so different that it just hasn't been very lucrative to me, for me. Um, and I really saw it during, um, wow, I didn't know I was gonna share all this, but here we are. Um, I really saw it during uh, December in Vlogmas when I was like putting out videos every day and I was like, this is not how it used to be. And I am not only not putting out content that I'm like super proud of, but I'm also like, not spending as much time with my child as I should be right now because some days I'm like oh my god this is so boring as they like lay on the mat and play with the block for the like 18th time in that hour um but I also know this is such a blip in time like soon she's going to be going to school and I'm not gonna have this opportunity to be with her uh so much during the day um and I also know how lucky I am to have her and to be here after all I went through health-wise so um, this is all to say I'm trying to be more present um, while I can and really put in my full effort because this is going to be our one and only child and I want to experience everything to its fullest. So with all that being said, I sort of was like, I think I didn't even like make um, the like, I didn't even like set the intention to not be making as many videos. It just sort of happened and I haven't been like itching to turn on the camera. Um, but I do feel like that's not very fair to the people that have been very loyal to me and some people have reached out on Instagram and I'm like concerned about me. So this being said, like I don't really know where the future of this all goes. Do I start a Patreon, which is maybe a little bit more lucrative, but then that puts you in a weird position. Do I continue to post on here and like try to like wiggle out more brand deals or do I just like move forward and on with other passions, which I have been doing, but um, you know, Again, such a limited time each week to focus on work. And so I have been focusing on other projects while I can in hopes that those start to take off. And maybe if those take off, then I'll have a little more time, space, and financial freedom to post more here. Because I love this and I miss you guys dearly. I also really want to start sharing more of the like mommy products I've been enjoying. Because I remember when I was like making my um, registry or even now I like constantly am looking at YouTube, constantly looking at Instagram for suggestions of products so um, that I don't waste my money or time and I really like doing that for you guys. So this is all to say 
If you're not already following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. I'm going to try to make a little bit more effort to um, start posting stuff over there in terms of products and things that I really like and give you guys updates over there. Um, those kind of things I can probably handle a little bit more than sitting down and making videos. Uh, that being said, I don't know if I'll ever fully stop making videos. We'll just have to see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what else has been going on? <laughs> My baby is eating solids now, which is crazy. We've just started. She's doing avocado. She's doing banana. Um, she's doing zucchini. We're going to try the peanut butter soon, which makes me really nervous. But we're, we're just going to like rip the bandaid and make sure that she doesn't have an allergy to that. Um, and those are all things that like, I wish I could share the whole journey with you guys. But one, like to do that, I really feel like I need to show her and I don't want to show her. And two, like, again, I just, the time is so limited. Uh, naps are shortening. There's only two naps a day now. And so, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just start sharing some of that stuff over on Instagram, like uh, which blender I use for her, how I keep her food, like, fresh, uh, the spoons we've been using. I'm on the hunt for a new sippy cup. Please let me know if you, like, have your favorite, like, first-time sippy cup because she really is, like, loving water, which is pretty fun. Um, we give her, like, such small amounts, but she's really enjoying that. Um, things like that. So, yeah, she's eating foods. She's flipping over both ways. She's sitting up now almost fully on her own. Uh, we keep a pillow behind her just in case. I got a new mat, which I did show on Instagram, and I will share because it's awesome. I spent all this money on the Toki mat, and don't get me wrong, I love the Toki mat, but we kind of outgrew that. We use it in the nursery now, but she um, like needs a lot of space to roll and stuff, but the Toki mats are so freaking expensive to the point that it like makes me like angry I know it's a small business and their stuff is awesome and um like I said like we use that mat and you can wash it and it's great but I was like we need a bigger mat and so we got this awesome mat or I found this awesome mat on Amazon that um is non-toxic in terms of the chemicals and you can wash it I haven't washed it yet but it's pretty plush and it's super cute I'll leave a link to that below if I can remember. Um, but I will share that over on Instagram. So she's rolling, uh, sitting up. She's clapping her hands. Oh my God. She claps her hands now, which is like so, ah, it's so cute. Um, so she's doing really well. Corny's doing great. Um, she is adjusting really well to Annie. Uh, she doesn't love it but she's taking on the motherly role. She's like super protective. If Annie cries, she makes sure like in the middle of the night, like if she cries, we're like letting her cry it out a little bit, but like corny, like make sure that we're like aware, like we're awake that we hear her cry, which is like super cute. Um, she's transitioned. Oh, back to Annie really fast. She's sorry. Corny. She's transitioned, transitioned into a new bathtub, which is cool. It's in our bath before she was like in this little like angel care, they call it one. But because she's moving around so much, I got this other great thing that I want to share with you guys. So much like fun stuff. Um, and oh, back to Courtney. Courtney's doing great. She's seemingly a knock on wood, very healthy. Um, if you had followed the journey for a long time, she had pancreatitis for a long time. And we seem to have gotten that under control. Jeff is doing wonderful. He is absolutely the best dad ever. He is so funny with Annie. She loves, she lights up when she sees him. Um, he has been so supportive of me. Um, he does all the chores in the house. Annie goes to work. Like, I really feel lucky and I feel like our bond has gotten stronger, uh, especially over the last like couple months as we really had to like come together as a family to keep the, the trains running here. Um, and an update on me, I'm doing so much better. I really, really was suffering from postpartum depression. Um, like so much worse, I think, than I even realized in retrospect and definitely worse than I like even presented. Um, but I am now on new medication and I'm in therapy and I feel like I'm like over the hump and I feel like I'm myself again. So um, yeah, things are like back on track. The only thing that I feel like is a little bit bumpy is work and trying to figure out what that looks like and, um, what I want to be when I grow up. Um, so, you know, I'm going kind of going step by step, day by day, throwback to my nineties kids. Um, yeah, we'll just see. I'm auditioning a bunch. My agency dissolved, which is like such a crazy story. If you are 
like in the world of like the Hollywood world and you have like agents or managers or you're familiar with it or if you're like in that sort of like space if not it's like so uninteresting but basically my whole agency like went under because the, the, the owner of the company like tanked the company it, it's crazy so this is to say like just like everything is like kind of up in the air in terms of work and career and like where that's gonna land and that was giving me so much anxiety but I have like definitely come to a place of like I'm gonna keep working keep putting energy out and like just sort of accept what the next step in my life is looking like and I'm not sure what that is but I'm gonna get there um and luckily I have the luxury to do that because I have a supportive husband and um like money saved um but it's starting to feel a little like Wah! so for all of you out there that are feeling a little, a little tightened as we do our taxes and things like that I got you I feel you um I, I know where you're coming from and so some of that like also has been weighed on me but overall am I like just sharing too much maybe this is why I don't turn on the camera anymore <laughs> just like word vomiting over sharing but again shout out to everyone who was like worried about where I was at this is where I am this is what I'm doing um and I'm just trying to kind of figure out a new groove and um what life looks like so with that said um where are you consuming your content are you still here on youtube are you still interested in youtube type videos are you interested in vlogs is anyone watching vlogs or is it all podcast style tracy and i have been toying with doing a podcast but we also feel like the space is so like overwrought um and we want it to be authentic to us and like i don't know if either of us are like super interested in it we are working on some projects that hopefully you'll get to see soon. I don't know. Where are you at? Are you enjoying like Instagram still? I know TikTok is where it's at for most people, but obviously not me. And I feel like my audience isn't really a TikTok audience, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I'm thinking more sharing. Uh, Instagram feels a little more authentic to me for the moment. So I don't know. This is a whole big video of I don't know, but just wanted to let you know that I've been thinking about you guys and I apologize for just disappearing, uh, but it has felt really, really good. And Jeff and I were talking about like whatever, someone we knew who like, just like uh, should be taking a break from social media for a million reasons and they're not. And he was like, and, and maybe they should just take a break and not have to say like, this is why I'm taking a break, I'm burnt out, like make a whole to-do about it. And I feel like we're so like conditioned here to like have to make a big deal about everything, like take, make a big deal about taking a break, make a big deal about, you know, taking time for yourself and make that a video and blah, 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 blah. Like the dramatics really play well here on YouTube, which is why like all my thumbnails are like, and this one will probably be about like that because those are what click. But like truly it's like so nice to, sort of just like take a step back and not have to had to explain myself did that make sense at all as i'm sitting here explaining myself after the fact i don't know guys all right this is where i should reverse turn off the camera and just upload it um okay that's all you guys are great uh fill me in what's going on with you again what are you looking for when it comes to content and um if you have any suggestions for me like positive ones all right I can't with the negatives no more. I'm here for like creative criticism, but like also like, I just wanna have fun. That's like my new goal. I was telling a friend today, I was like, I just wanna like do work that is like fun. Listen, I know work is work no matter what, but I'm just like, I just wanna like fill life with as much joy as possible because as we all know, life is very short and I got a glimpse of that with this heart thing and I'm just trying to proceed with love and joy and uh, a sprinkle of passion. So there you go. Okay, I'm word vomiting. I forgot how to make YouTube videos. It's only been 17 years. I'll see you guys next time. I don't know when that is, but I'll see you then. Bye.